The holy light of the island of Vilos in the Aegean Sea and the Cyclade Islands that floated in the heavens. I'm translating from a Greek article for you. When Zeus fell in love with Lito, she became pregnant. And of course, she too faced the wrath of Hera. Hera was Zeus's first and main wife. The angry Hera kept the Elithian view of childbirth in prison so that Lito could not give birth to her twin children anywhere on earth. The unfortunate Lito wandered without hope of help. Zeus asked his brother Poseidon to help find any place for Lito to have his children. Poseidon did not want to break with the other gods or break the promise he had given to them, so he found the trick to take the invisible rock, Adilo, and anchor it in a well-chosen place with four columns of chains made of diamond rings as hard as stone. Then he renamed it Vilos. Vilos meaning, uh, in Greek meaning, Vilona meaning, I make it appear, I make it obvious. Since then, the island of Vilos has remained stable and has not moved again, except once. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. When Thatis, the general of Artafernes, was going to attack Greece, that is, was the Persian. Not only did he not bother Vilos the island, but he the the he uh, um, he uh, offered incense at the temple of Vilio Apollon. Only then did the island shake once and for all. All these stories about the moving island are due to the frequent earthquakes, of course, according to Pausanias. In his time, a part of the island was called Tremon, meaning shaking, uh, trembling, Tremon. Now, to secure Dilos's consent, Liton promised that if he let her rest to give birth to her child, he would make her the richest, uh, he would make her the richest island, she would make it the richest island in the sea, and her own child would never leave the island. The agreement was closed, was uh, made, and Lito leaned on the only palm tree growing in the holy lake, waiting for her time to give birth. Until she found a place to give birth, Lito had made a cycle of stations of 12 geographical points that are identical with the zodiac signs, ending up in the center of the circle in the hitherto unknown Vilos. According to Hesiod, Vilos will appear uh, Vilos appeared to desperate Lito as a ship sailing in the skies looking to land and docked and anchored in the center of the Cyclades, the islands in the Aegean. The ship was called Delia Asteria, or Theoris, which floated in the skies for a long time and brought to earth the two beloved twin gods. In remembrance of this event, the Delians every year made a model of the ship something like the trireme of the Virgin Athena, the goddess Athena, and celebrated in memory of this event. It was one of the most important ship festivals of antiquity. On the night of the birth of the firstborn, Artemis, and the secondborn, Apollo, the torches of day and night will light. This light will have for antiquity the same significance as the light of Jerusalem today. The Kaveri mysteries would not have started if the light of Vilos, which was distributed to the houses after a dark day, had not arrived. Artemis is associated with the Kaveri as evidenced by the writings of an inscription in Asia Minor, where the cult of the Kaveri was widespread. Quote, priest for life of Vulea Artemis and baths of the Greek gods Kaveria. Unquote. Artemis was first born the latter goddess of hunting and virginity, but also of the night, night, night light. After nine days and nights of mourning, Apollo was born. For the whole nine days, Zeus was anxious to see what was happening from the top of Kithnos, a sacred hill of Vilos, 
From his name comes the ancient Greek female name Kith, Kithnia, originally the surname of Artemis. Apollo gave birth with the help of Lito from her newborn daughter, Artemis, who was taught to be the attendant and assistant of the birth by the squadrons who were there in both births. The squadrons were autonomous and autonomous and even Zeus could not rule, even though they also lived at Olympus under his throne. From that moment on, the island of Delos became a sacred place and it was fatal to acquire great wealth. Even today, no other part of the world is as illuminated as the island of Apollo. And we know that nobody is allowed to live on the island of Delos. It's an archaeological site. The only family that lives there, a man and his wife, are the caretakers of the island for the archaeological department of Greece. This is translated to you from the Greek article, the Adrastica. And please leave your comments and thank you for your support.